you can't believe it, you all have just written paper one for grade 12, 2023. And I'm going to, in this quick video, reveal to you my hot takes on this exam paper. I've got a bag here, it's been opened, so it's going to be my first glance at the actual papers. And I'm going to rate them to see how well we think this paper was set for you guys. So here it is, let's open it up. And I'll talk you through the paper that all of you have just written and we'll see if we can give it some rating. Of course, in uh, the community tab, there is an official uh, poll that I've asked you to vote on. So you're welcome to on that poll vote and also give your opinion on what is really the quality and the difficulty level of this paper. So we're going to talk us through a couple of these questions and uh, see uh, if you agree with me in the comments um, below. All right, so let's get right into it. This is the English version. It's in November 2023, three hours, 100 marks um, for engineering graphics and design. Nothing of a surprise here on the front cover. Let's look at what was question one. So question one was your civil analytical. And um, I've, uh, yeah, let's look at this here. If you look at the first thoughts, let me zoom in a little bit to make sure you guys can all follow with me. If I look here, it's very much similar to previous year's civil analytical, and you can always expect something new. In this specific one, these fuel underground fuel tanks, that was something that most of us never seen before, and it's revealed the first time here, but it was labeled quite clearly, so there wasn't any doubt what they are referring to. Uh, they've even added here an electric display on the corner, but again, clearly given uh, lots of details on this side. Um, and I wonder what you guys would have thought of this question. If you look at the actual questions that was asked here, again, very much straightforward. A lot of these answers you could have just gotten from the given information. Um, they've included again the area like they always do. There was a perimeter question here and a neat free hand sun symbols that they require. The surprise here for me is that they went for a shower, which I think is a quite easy one for most of you, and the socket outlet. Now, what's interesting, this socket outlet, if you look at the end here, there you go. There's actually that electrical symbol. So there was no reason for any learner to get that one wrong because that is a socket outlet. Um, so, okay, this one, if we had to rate this question based on what we've just looked at, I would think all of you would have been very happy with this question one analytical. All right, let's move on to the second question. And this one is our solid geometry. Now we'll have to zoom in a little bit here to just make sure you see what that entails. Now this one, if we look, it says here that they've given us a front view and a top view of a right regular pentagonal pyramid. So there's a pyramid. Okay, a lot of grade 12s, I'm sure you should be able to do that pentagon but that could have been some challenge for some kids here. Um, and then with one base edge in contact with the base edge of a right layer regular hexagonal prism. So that's there. And then they say um, this prism is centrally pierced by right square prismatic hole. All right. And if you look at um, the front, you can see those hidden details are actually the corners of that uh, square um, pragmatic hole. So that in looks very much like the questions that you, that you would have drawn in class. The cutting plane here, also familiar. So this question, although there's a standard of difficulty, I think just the starting of this learners sometimes struggle with. And so if you were able to start this one well, I think you could have been very successful. They actually did not ask a true shape. So that already, um, you know, leans towards the favor of the learners because the true shape, a lot of kids struggle with. So if I would have to rate this one, I'm maybe not as happy as I am with the analytical, but I'm still thinking you guys should have been really happy with this solid geometry. All right, let's go on to the two-point perspective. Now on the comments in the quick um, poll that we've done on the community tab, this one had some reaction. A lot of learners saying that this two-point perspective was very difficult for them. Now, let me see if I agree with you just looking at what is given here. All right, so we have a top view and we've two uh, front view and a side view here. Now, on first glance, um, yeah, 40 marks here 
it means you've got about 35 minutes to draw this um, okay we've got the arc that we expected that's good um, what's interesting here I see there's an A, B and C now I think that was for you to be able to identify the different parts if you look at that C that's that column here on the side the A is this ramp here that's visible and this B is this interesting section on top which is again also here which to me is a little bit interesting because there's no you know is this hanging in the air um, is it resting on the walls if you look at the top view it's not really resting um, so that that might be on first glance I'm still a little bit puzzled by that one and then I think this roof line the fact that there's no depth to it so it's just a single roof line it looks like it to me um, might have also thrown some of you so this um, yeah there's a lot of details here and learners would have had to take some time to just figure it out initially and so considering that um, it's between probably a tongue in the cheek uh, it's a good one for those uh, learners who's really confident in two-point perspective but learners who came into this exam with no confidence or little confidence I think it's going to be an ouch and so I'm rating this as an ouch in general because I think a lot of learners would have struggled with this one all right if we go on to our civil drawings the actual um, floor plan elevation section okay we can go over to this one that was your empty page that you got there and they've actually helped um, with a lot of details already on this floor plan so you really just had to add your lights your windows your doorways uh, labels and then you would have projected that up for your elevation here they've given other than previous years they've given you the ground line they've given the label here so you would have been very much easy for you to project all of this upwards to get that elevation plus on that elevation they've given you quite a number of details so i think with the elevation the only catch here might have been this these front steps where they've given you again more details so if you were able to identify that um, i think that elevation would have been easy i'm confident that you would have gotten the floor plan the section elevation i'll zoom in for you here sorry i don't want this to slide off let me just zoom in a little bit on the section elevation sorry for that okay so there's a section elevation um, details and they've given you a lot of roof details here but the placement of this section is what would have surprised some learners if you look there you always look in the direction of the arrow so you're going to draw it facing this way you're going to cut through a window and it's this roof that's going to be important but look here in the direction I'm going to see this wall with a window in it and so on your section you're going to have to draw that plus the roof detail here is also going to be visible so that's it's not going to be just the roof end here with a gutter but what about this wraparound and so what I will see here is very much similar to this detail that uh, you just have to take note of when you draw this so uh, the cutting uh, plane if you look at the, the width of that I haven't measured this of course but there's my foundation this will be the inside this will be the outside and so up here when we do the actual roof of course there will be a roof plus that additional gutter that I will see if I look as you see here in the direction of the cutting plane so I'll have the window plus I'll see this window there would have been a window here so I'll see that and I would have seen this gutter and I hope you've got that right also. So if you if you weigh on this civil paper, let me zoom out here before we weigh it again and just see how far we think you've gotten. So based on what I've looked at on this civil, I would think most learners who practiced and paid attention in class would have been able to really be happy about this civil analytical. It's definitely easier than a year or two ago. So, all right, what do we rate this overall? this paper one of you uh, I wonder what you guys would say I think most learners here um, you would have some that say yes this was a very easy paper if you were confident with that two-point perspective uh, there's a little bit of a tongue in the cheek with some of these and of course then uh, if you weren't prepared adequately ouch you would have struggled with definitely the two-point perspective that sectional elevation would have maybe been difficult and even the solid geometry but overall my take would be that this paper is worth smiling over and definitely something that learners 
who is competent and who's drawn, drawn, drawn over the last year would have been able to absolutely nail it. All right, that's my opinion. Please share yours in the comments below. I look forward to uh, doing the same video for paper number two. Please leave your comments and uh, questions in the community survey that's on the community tab. Thank you so much for watching and consider joining EGD Masterclasses uh, if you would like to have deeper understanding into how EGD operates and how to prepare for your final exams. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.